All right, we continue to practice our integral test. Integral test says if you check a couple of things. Uh, first of all, we check that your sequence is decreasing and your sequence is positive. Then that links it together with the integral version of the sum. So first we check this decreasing. Of course it's decreasing. Um, and it's even silly for me to write anything, but of course n is less than n plus 1 square root of n is less than square root of n plus 1 1 over the square root of n is greater than 1 over the square root of n plus 1 that tells you a n is bigger than a n plus 1 that tells you that it's decreasing check they're all positive because of course n is positive and so the square root is positive you've checked your two items that guarantees that uh, they both converge or both diverge you can, this is this p series piece uh, integral um, where p is less than one, so therefore it diverges. Or you can go on and uh, you can actually do the integral here: uh, square root x to the negative one half dx uh, becomes x one half times two, going from infinity to one. That becomes two times infinity minus uh, two times one, which of course is infinite. Therefore, this one diverges. Having checked these two things, they both do the same thing. Therefore, this one diverges by the integral test. Okay, that's how you do the integral test. You check the two conditions that links them together. That shows you that the corners are not going to affect it. So then you work on the integral. Sometimes that's much, much easier than to work on the sum. And we just conclude that it diverges. We don't, uh, and, that, and we'll be happy with that many, many times. All right, I think, uh, let me see, that might wrap it up for us today. Now will that do it for us? Whoa, what does that mean? That means it's time to do the little... We're done. Dance. See you guys here next time. Peace. Cut. Salute.